Hi, welcome to the Hawaii Real Estate Report. I'm Scott Sakata. I'm Jeff Orig. Today our guest is Abe Lee, broker and owner of Abe Lee Realty. And aside from his brokerage company, Abe also runs Abe Lee Development, which specializes in small property development. Um, today we're going to discuss some of the basics of the CPR process. Okay, by the way, what's a CPR? Condominium property regime. Okay. <laughs> the test begins. <laughs> Abe, uh, thanks for coming back on the show. You're welcome. Thank you. For some new viewers, can you just tell them a little bit about yourself and sure. what you do? Well, as it relates to the condominiums, we've, I first started working for developers back in the 1970s and then did a major project in sales for Bob Allen for Executive Center back in 1978, 79, 80. And I started my own small projects in 1981, I believe was my first. And subsequently, we've done about 130, 140 projects all throughout the islands, mostly on Oahu, but a few on the neighbor islands. Mm. But most of them were condominiums. Okay. So what is a CPR? Well, let's take a subdivision first, okay? okay. Let's say you have a 10,000 square foot lot, and it's what they call R5 zone. So it's residential, 5,000 square foot minimum lot size. So if the lot was wide enough, the city and county of Honolulu will say, okay, we'll let you subdivide your lot into two 5,000 square foot lots and the back lot would be having a flag stem, and the front lot would have its own entry. So that's a regular subdivision. But if the lot was too narrow, but was 10,000 square feet, then the city would say, we'll let you build two houses, but we won't let you subdivide. Well, the magic of the condominium is under what they call Hawaii Revised Statutes, Chapter 514A. The state says, if you're legally allowed to have two homes, or even if it's legal non-conforming, then the state will say, as long as you have no current building code violations, we'll let you separate the two units out and sell them off separately. So in a regular subdivision, you'd have two lots with two separate tax map numbers. In a condominium, you'd have one tax map lot, but with two houses, and then by virtue of the condominium law, you can separate out the ownership and split uh, and transfer title to the units. So it was magic. You wave a wand by the legislative action, and you can sell it separately. Now, it originally started back, you know, 1960s, when they had a high rise. And a developer would say, OK, I want to sell this property. I don't, I don't want to be a landlord. And there was no way to mm. sell the airspace. And the condominium uh, law arose. And it, back then, it was called HPR, Horizontal Property Regime. Mm. And now it's called CPR, Condominium Property Regime. It's same law. It just they changed the name, mm -hmm. so I don't know if it's any more, you know, apparent to people who why what's the difference is between HPR and CPR, but it's the same law. So in a high rise, they allow you to send sell the separate airspace for each unit with a limited common element, and then the common element would be the driveway, the parking, the elevators, and those kinds of things, swimming pool. Mm -hmm. So in a high rise, we see common elements and limited common elements. But in a low rise, like the subdivision I mentioned, you could have no common elements. Because mm -hmm. that back driveway could be only for the back unit, and the front house would have its own access. But if they were going to share the driveway, then the driveway would be common element, and the two separate lots would be called limited common element. Mm -hmm. So that's basically the main difference between a subdivision and a condominium, is you have different types of ownership. Yeah, because I know uh, yeah. people when they think about, okay, I have this large lot, I have two properties on it, I want to subdivide. And that's mm -hmm. the only thing they think about is subdivide. They're not really familiar with the term CPR, right? right? So um, I guess how you just explain it, um, depending on the size of the lot, and I guess there's all these different uh, dimensions and regulation requirements that's needed, mm -hmm. um, then it becomes a CPR. So it's just a matter of um, someone trying to understand the difference be differences between the two. Yeah, and that's true. And the key is, is a city and county of Honolulu, or Maui, or Kauai, or Big Island, the county departments issues the permits. They tell you how much density you can have per lot. Mm. For example, in Honolulu, it's R5. That means 5,000 square feet. Now, there's different zoning designations. There's R3.5, that's 3,500 square feet, 5, 5,000, 7.5, 7,500, 10, and 20, 10 and 20,000 square feet. So depending on where you live, the zoning dictates your density. But as I mentioned, if your lot is too narrow to subdivide, but they will allow you two or more homes on the property, then the question is, how do I separate out the ownership so I can sell one to my child or give it to my mm -hmm. you know, daughter? Mm -hmm. And so CPR is a, really a magic wand as far as the uh, transferring of title is concerned. Mm -hmm. Before the condo law came along, you couldn't do that. 
There was one owner with two houses. Mm. Now we can have two owners and two houses. And you can have separate mortgages, okay. which is the beauty of CPRs. Okay, great. Well, we'll be right back after this.